today we are going to speak about lines and angles. Now see here, can you see a line here? This line. We call this as a horizontal line. This is a horizontal line. Can you see this line? Here. This line we call as a vertical line. When two lines meet together, it makes a vertex. When two lines meet together, this is a horizontal line, this is a vertical line. When these two lines meet together, this is the vertex. We call it as an angle. Make an angle. When two lines meet together, point is a vertex or oh, we call it as a corner or oh, a vertex or oh, an angle. We use these three words for this. When two lines meet together, this point is a vertex, this is an angle. Now, uh, you can see here, this is called a right angle. Why is that? Uh, we can measure using the protector. This is the protector. You can uh, use this protector, keep the protector on this horizontal line and we can measure. We can measure the angle. It shows us here when we keep the below line of the protect, protector on the horizontal line, then it tells us the value of this angle is that's 90 degrees. Value of this angle is 90 degrees. It's a right angle. That's a right angle. Right. Then you already know now this is a horizontal line, this is a vertical line. Here there are another two lines. These two lines are parallel to each other. Can you see? Parallel means in same distance in each place. I will explain how to draw up. Uh, parallel lines uh, you can keep the ruler here you can draw a line on there and you can keep the set square on the ruler like this set square on the ruler then can draw a line then you can slide the set square forward and can draw another line if you like, you can draw another line. These three lines are parallel to each other. These are parallel lines. We call this parallel line. Now you already know this is a horizontal line. This is a vertical line. These two are parallel lines. And this is another way we can draw a perpendicular line. That means that corner is a right angle. That means 90 degrees. When these two lines meet together, make, that's the point vertex, it makes 90 degrees. That's a right angle. I can show you how to draw a perpendicular line. You keep draw a line. You can set the Keep the set square on the line like this or you can draw a slant line like this. That's okay. We'll draw a line like We'll draw a line. Okay, then set, keep the set square on the line. That's the way we are going to draw a perpendicular line. Corner is 90 degrees. When these two lines meet together, it makes a right angle here. 
Now you already know what is a horizontal line, vertical line, parallel lines and perpendicular lines. Now here we will draw a horizontal line and a vertical line. Now we know this angle is 90 degrees. That is 90 degrees. If I keep the uh, ruler here, I try to draw another line. Can you see from the vertex I start here? This is another line. Then what do you think about this corner? We will name this as P Q R S. Yeah, P Q R. P Q R. We show the corner as P Q R like this. We can show the corner. P Q R corner equals to 90 degrees. What do you think about uh, SQR corner? SQR corner. What do you think about the SQR corner? This corner. That is already less than 90 degrees. Not 90 degrees. PQR is 90 degrees. SQR must be less than 90 degrees. We can measure using a protector. Keep the protector on the horizontal line then we can measure before measure you can estimate what will be the measurement of this corner it perfectly it tells 60 degrees this sqr corner is 60 degrees that means less than 90 degrees that is 60 degrees we call this corner as this angle as acute angle that is a acute angle this is a right angle that is 90 degrees this acute angle that is less than 90 degrees sqr corner is sqr angle is 60 degrees now i will show you another angle here We can draw a parallel line and we already know this is the vertical line. Now I try to draw another line here. From this vertex I started. Ah. Then you already will name this as A. B, C, D. What do you know about A, C, D angle? A, C, D. A, C, D angle. That's 90 degrees. That is a right angle. What do you think about B, C, D angle? B, C, D angle. We can show angle like this. Or we can show like this also BCD angle. What do you think about BCD angle? This is already 90 degrees. Then BCD angle must be BCD. This angle must be over than 90 degrees. We will measure it using the protector. We can keep the protector on the horizontal line and we can measure the measure this angle. It tells us this is 90, this is it tells us 120 degrees. That is 120 degrees. 120 degrees BCD. That is 120 degrees. ACD is 90 degrees. BCD is 120 degrees. That is over than 90 degrees. We call this as obtuse angle. Obtuse angle. This is more than 90 degrees. We call this as obtuse angle. This is less than 90 degrees. We call this as acute angle. 
this is already 90 degrees we call this as right angle I will show you another angle think about this line this is the vertex what do you think about this angle just another angle yes if we imagine if there is a line you already know this is 90 degrees this is 90 degrees then what will be the value of this angle that is 180 degrees that means 90 degrees plus 90 degrees it becomes 180 degrees it's a straight angle we call this as straight angle this is a straight angle this is a straight angle value is 180 degrees I will show you another angle horizontal line and another line these two lines meet together it make a now you already know what will be this this is acute angle but we are going to show another angle that is an acute angle what about this angle we'll name it as e f g e f g angle e f g that angle we call as reflex angle that is a reflex angle if you if we know the value of uh, the acute angle we can measure the reflex angle yes i will show you another angle from here it goes a complete round here from here starting from here it goes a complete round that angle is 360 degrees that's a complete turn here that's a full turn that gives the value 360 degrees then we can find uh, if we know the acute angle of this we can find the reflex angle of this we can uh, reduce this value from 360 then we can get the reflex angles value we can measure this acute angle uses using this here keep the protect protector on the horizontal line value gives 65 degrees here acute angle that is 65 degrees now we can find what is the value of reflex angle that is we have to subtract 65 from this angle then it gives the value of reflex angle that is very easy now today we learn about lines this is a horizontal line this is a vertical line this is a straight line we learn about parallel lines in a straight line there is an angle straight angle the value is 180 this is a acute angle less than 90 degrees this is a obtuse angle more than 90 degrees this is a reflex angle that is already over then we can tell that is between 180 and 360 big value is like that